my channel. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week so far. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my natural toothpaste recipe that I've been using for quite a while now. I love it because it doesn't contain all those harmful ingredients that you find in your regular conventional store-bought toothpaste that you find on the market. And it's also really cheap to make, so you, make, you can make more of it for less price. And it's also really just easy, and it's just easy to whip up in the kitchen so it's ready for when you need to brush your teeth. Plus, one of the big things that I love about it is it's zero waste. So I've been really following my little zero waste lifestyle recently, or a bit more than recently for a while, and I've really tried to minimise my amount of waste that I use and kind of throw away, because I can understand it has a big impact on our environment. So the toothpaste tube that it comes in is just plain wasteful, because one, it's comes in a tube and a box. While the box is recyclable, the tube is almost impossible, to, impo almost impossible to recycle and often ends up in a landfill. So for me, I was like, I didn't like how I'm constantly throwing out toothpaste tubes and knowing that they're most likely ending up in our landfill and I just didn't like that at all. So I was like, nah. So for this recipe, the, the homemade natural version, is you can put it into a glass jar or into a stainless steel container and just reuse it as much as you like. So a good question that I have asked myself before is why should I use natural toothpaste? Well, I can understand that if you have a perfectly good pre-made version all ready to go, why would you want to switch to making your own homemade natural version because it is more of a hassle for some. It is just you have to make it and you have to you know put it into a glass jar and some people are like, oh I just don't want to do this. So. When I started reading about what was in these toothpaste that you usually get on market on the market, I found there was a lot of mm -mm, nasty ingredients in them, and I was like, oh, I probably should do something about changing this. So I started researching what all these ingredients were, and one of the most harmful ones in the toothpaste tubes that I'd often come across and that I started learning more and more about was one, triclosan. Triclosan is an antimicrobial chemical, so it's often found in things like antibacterial soaps and products, but it has been linked to a lot of health issues and environmental problems. Fluoride was another one, and yes, this is a very controversial ingredient because it has been shown that having added fluoride to our water and to our toothpaste, it has helped in protecting our teeth from de de deteriorating and decaying. However, there have been quite a lot of studies on both sides weighing up the benefits and cons of using this ingredient in our water and in our toothpaste. I personally don't use fluoride in my toothpaste and I also mostly filter it out of the tap water that I drink as well with my own water filter. I found it interesting that fluoride does come with its own warning sign saying that if it is ingested, you need to immediately call the poison control centre. So it was like just something to think about. Glycerin is another interesting ingredient as it is actually found in many to natural toothpastes available. However, there is a lot of controversy about it. Some research says that glycerin can actually coat the teeth and prevent them from benefiting from minerals in our saliva. So for me, I personally don't have it in my natural toothpaste. Surfactants are an ingredient that I have talked about before in the past in my natural homemade shampoo tutorial video as they're often found in conventional shampoos that you find, but it's also found in toothpaste. And the form which it's under is usually sodium lauryl sulfate. This chemical is used in toothpaste as it gives it its foam and lather. However, some research has found that SLS can actually cause canker sores and mouth ulcers. Sweeteners like sodium saturin, sorbitol, and other artificial sweeteners are added to toothpaste to improve their taste. However, there isn't much evidence showing that they are very beneficial or even safe to use in your mouth. Xylitol, I think that's how you pronounce it, again I'll show the word down below so you guys can see, has been shown to have some positive benefits for oral health. Because it's a sugar alcohol, when bacteria consume it, they actually can't metabolize it, so after consuming it, they just die. So, that, so having it in small doses can be beneficial for your mouth health. However, I avoid using it in food just to prevent having it in large quantities as having large amounts of it has been shown to have some health issues and cause some side effects, so I just tend to avoid it, adding it into any food that I have. But having small amounts has been shown to have some benefits, so it's up to you if you want to add it to your toothpaste or not. 
I have yet to try it myself at the moment. I just haven't been using it because it hasn't been in my house. And it's just something that I'm not really that fussed on anyway. So it's up to you. I'll add it to the ingredients list. So if you want to, you can add it. But I just find that I don't need to add it to my toothpaste. So when I talk about it in the recipe, I'll mention you can use ground stevia or stevia powder. Just because they're quite good for sweetening it. Um, but I usually use ground stevia just because I've been growing a stevia plant at home and all I do is pick the leaves, dry them out, then I ground them myself and add it to the toothpaste. However, some people do get put off by the dark green colour it makes, so if you find that you don't like that green colour, stevia powder can be for you. Just make sure you choose one that's as natural as possible. So one that has the least amount of added ingredients, just pure stevia powder if you can find one. But today I'm going to be using stevia drops, these natural stevia drops that I have at home because I've run out of stevia, ground stevia and stevia powder. So that's what I'm going to be using today. So thank you guys for sticking through all my talking beforehand. We're going to go straight into the tutorial now so I hope you guys enjoy it. So for the ingredients you're going to need about half a cup of coconut oil, two to three tablespoons of baking soda, two small packets of stevia powder or two teaspoons of ground stevia. For me, I'm just going to use a few drops of stevia drop, stevia liquid today. You're going to need 15 to 20 drops of peppermint or cinnamon essential oil. It's optional, but you can use 10 drops of myrrh extract. I'll write that again down below. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but you can use that if you like. And another optional ingredient is you can use up to one tablespoon of xylitol powder. So to begin making your toothpaste, simply melt or slightly soften the coconut oil, then mix in the other ingredients and stir well. If you're using semi-hard coconut oil, use a fork. If not, just use a spoon. If you're using completely melted coconut oil, you will need to stir it several times while the mixture, while the mixture cools to keep the baking soda incorporated. Next, pour the mixture into a small glass jar. You can make different ones for each member of your family if you like. Then let it cool completely. When you're ready to use it, simply dip the toothbrush in and scrape a small amount onto the bristles. You can also use a small spoon to put it onto your toothbrush if you like. And voila! There you have it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, you know just to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join our tribe, just subscribe down below. I hope to see you in my future videos guys. If you have any other recipes for homemade toothpaste, I would love to hear them. I always like looking for new things. So please share them with me down in the comments below. Otherwise have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. See ya!